India is a country filled with countless temples and other revered sites. Indian temples are renowned for their architecture, intricate carvings, and spiritual significance. Many of these temples have fascinating mysteries associated with them, which have mesmerized historian, archaeologist, and visitor alike. Indian temples are not just the place of worship; they are beyond that. In India, there are number of temples. When we visit that temple, number of question arises in our mind. These temples are full of mysteries, and reason behind these mysteries are unknown to everyone. And here, science also fails. Sahasralinga in Sirsi, Karnataka. This location, which is located in the village of Sirsi, in the middle of river Salmala, is one of the most important pilgrimage site in the nation. The area is well known for the 1,000 Shivalingas that have been carved into the rock along the Salmala's bank. According to recorded history, between 1542 to 1569, the Vijayanagar kingdom's Sadashivaraya installed 1,000 lingam. Each lingam has a carving of, of bull Nandi in the front. Each of these linga has a unique form and size. Due to the force of rivers flow, some of these lingas are decayed, loosened, or completely deformed. It is advised that anyone interested in seeing this miracle only goes there while the water level is low. The lingas would otherwise remain submerged, making the sculptures difficult to see. Devotees travel from all over the nation. to the location to worship shiva on the day of mahashivratri the mystery is when you can worship a single shivalingam then why do you need thousands of shivalingam at a single place there must be some reason behind this which we are unable to think whatever the historical background or beliefs are sahasralingam is a classical scenic location where one can merge in with nature the same name refers to another location in cambodia where carved shivalingas are likewise located in the midst of river angkor wat is 25 miles away from the cambodian sahasralingam in addition to the linga there are statues of the hindu deities ram hanuman and lakshmi the name of the location is which translate as the head bridge now the mystery is how two locations separated by thousands of kilometer share the same name and have identical sculptures who made the carving and why both the indians and cambodians were unaware but if we dig deeper we can find the answer mini copper plate inscription of the pandyas and the well known raghuvansham kavya of kalidasa mention rishi agastya as being related to the pandyas 2000 years ago he led the pandya and other south indian kings to the land of south asia he was the torch bearer of hindu culture since thus people were without religion and culture sage agastya civilized them this was not an invasion but a cultural expansion as a token of gratitude agastya statues were installed by the local people in different countries in south east asia even before the british reaches this area french archaeologist and historian went to do lot of research and published books on the temple so we can assume that the culture traveled from south india towards southeast asia and then to central and south america raj rajeshwari temple in bihar millions of worshipper come from all over the nation to the revered sri raj rajeshwari tripur sundari temple in bastar bihar the temple is adored by tantrics because it contains numerous idols of goddesses durga in different devi avatars forms of दस महाविद्या इंक्लूडिंग धुमावती बगलामुखी तारा काली चिन्नमस्ता सोडशी मातंगी कमला भैरवी एंड भुवनेश्वरी दिस टेम्पल हैज अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री ऑफ यूजिंग तांत्रिक एंड वैदिक रिचुअल्स टू वर्शिप द गॉड्स तांत्रिक प्रैक्टिशनर हैव अनफ्लैगिंग फेथ इन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दिस टेम्पल अबाउट फोर हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो द स्ट्रॉन्ग टेम्पल वॉज बिल्ड बाय द तांत्रिक योगी Bhavani Mishra it is widely believed that even now at night the numerous idols on the temple ground communicate with each other many people have reported hearing sounds of human voices coming through the temple's wall as if the gods were having a conversation though a group of knowledgeable scientists went to the temple 
to investigate the mysteries. They discovered that voices could be heard emanating from the temple after sunset. Even though there were no visible people nearby, locals assert that one can hear the idols conversing at midnight. It is unclear why words resound in the main temple at night. They allegedly consider possibilities of potential reflection of absorbed sound with delayed effect from structure. But these theories have not yet been proved or substantiated as the origin of these noises. To everyone's shock and amazement, no one has ever been able to explain why sound can be heard emanating from the temple, making it a mysterious occurrence. The Brihadeshwara Temple It is nothing short of a miracle that the big temple, Sri Brihadeshwara Temple, has endured centuries of natural disaster, including storms, wind, rain, etc. Raja Raja Chola was able to construct such a magnificent temple. Brihadeshwara Temple has been standing tall with minimum annual care required, unlike Taj Mahal, which was constructed much later and is challenging to maintain. But what is the formula for the temple of Brihadeshwara's success? Why does Tanjavur's grand temple never cast a shadow that hits the ground? Since ages, it has been the question that people have questioned the most. Perhaps the largest mystery surrounding the Grand Temple is the shadow mystery of Brihadeshwara Temple. The Great Living Chola Temple does not contain any sort of binding material. Yes, 216 foot tall Tanjavur Temple was built with interlocking stones. No other 216 foot tall building has ever been built without cement, blocks or other binding material. Hindus of the Middle Ages were brilliant because they could pull up such a miracle. The Brihadeshwara temple's construction entirely out of granite, which isn't even local to Tanjavur. The historians have been unable to find even a faint sign of granite within 50 kilometers of the area. Tanjavur temple took 1,30,000 tons of granite to construct. Not to mention that granite is one of the world's strongest stones on the strong granite stone. This makes it incredibly challenging to create delicate design and pattern. Carving must have been made with a strong blunt instrument. Similarly, there are a number of mysteries associated with Brihadeshwara temple. And what's the reason behind this is still unknown to all of us. Shiva Ganga temple in Karnataka In a temple close to Tumkur, Karnataka, butter transforms into ghee when holy bathing or Abhisheka is performed on the Shivalingam. During Abhisheka, devotees can witness the miracle in person. According to legend, the ghee that transforms into butter has healing properties and can treat a variety of diseases. Every Makar Sankranti, the sun shines directly on the Shivalinga via the arc between Nandi's horn, illuminating the main idol inside the cave. This is another interrogating feature of the temple. Even though it is regarded as a miracle and manifestation of Lord Shiva's strength, research into the cause of it has continued for more than a century, but no scientific answer has been able to satisfy. Many claim that when he is continuously rubbed on a stone while being combined with a small bit of water, it transforms into a material that resembles whipped cream or whipped butter. But does this theory apply here? It's still questionable. Veerabhadra Temple in Leh Pakshi, Andhra Pradesh It is believed by Hindus that Jatayuji fell on the same spot. When Sri Ram and Lakshmanji arrived here, they saw the badly injured bird and exclaimed, Le Pakshi, Le Pakshi, which are Telugu words that mean rise o bird, hence Le Pakshi was named after this incident. We have all heard of the mysteries surrounding the Le Pakshi hanging pillar, which defies all known principles of gravity. You might wonder what makes this pillar unique. One of these 70 pillars of this old Hindu temple from the Middle Ages has always termed scientist and archaeologist. The mysteries of the Le Pakshi hanging pillar is that, unlike the other, one of them grazes the ceiling while truly hanging in the air. The hanging pillar of Lepakshi is one of the most well-known aspects of the Virbhadra temple in Lepakshi village. Whether you want to call it the engineering marvel and talent of the people who were expert in the Vijayanagar style of design or an unanswered miracle. Under the swaying pillar, you might observe individuals distributing newspaper or thin cloths like chunris or dupattas. Mahindipur Balaji Temple, Rajasthan. Three gods are worshipped at this site Bhairav, Pretraj, and Balaji. The idol inside, which is more than 1000 years old, is thought to have self appeared rather than being the work of an artist. The temple, however, was constructed in the 20th century. 
According to the people, this temple was endowed with heavenly abilities to heal those who were under the control of dark magic and bad spirit. People who have traveled to the shrine frequently report that obstacles appear in their path as if to warn them. Even though the village is in the middle of warmest region, you will experience momentary cold chill once you will arrive here. Once you enter the temple, your world will completely shift from how normal life is currently running in scores. And let me tell you, getting inside is not simple as we think. There are certain rules and restrictions which must be followed when someone visits Mehendipur Balaji temple. The rules are, do not drink a drop of water here or eat anything in the temple. Don't look back when you leave the temple as it is believed that the evil might follow you till your home or you might get possessed. Once you enter the temple, you will hear loud and scary screaming and haunting sound coming from different possessed men or women. But you are not allowed to talk to them, make fun of them, to take pictures or videos of them. Such acts are prohibited in this temple. Do not bring anything from the village or the temple as it is believed that anything you bring can bring evil along with you. If you take any prasad of the temple, finish it then and there and do not take any prasad home. Conclusion For the Hindus, nothing in the world is miracle for it is natural. There is nothing called paranormal in Hinduism. Everything in the universe is natural. When we come across things, which we do not see in our daily life, we tend to call them as miracle, that's all.